Wow, I'm Pastor Gospel Vicente, an assistant pastor in War City Prevailers Global Ministry, under the leadership of my father and prophet, Pastor Maro Gabriel. Indeed, God has been faithful to us in this mandate. War City International is a transformative mandate with a mission statement of making prevailing people by the word of God, thereby changing the world. I tell you, in seven years, God has shown his faithfulness and his goodness to us as a family and as a people. It hasn't been easy, but God has been with us right from the beginning. When this mandate was delivered in 2014, April 24th, it started from something that looked like nothing into what it is today. A giant. It's a mountain. It's a force today. Many years ago, I could remember when this Monday started. We started in a primary school with my father preaching to almost nobody. Then after a while, one or two persons started coming in. Then we moved from the primary school and we had issues with the venue. We moved to another venue inside the Isoko South Local Government Council in front of a hall. It continued there without being discouraged just by the challenges with our venues. Then God provided us a good venue inside, still inside the local government council. Because he spoke to my father that he shall give him a tabernacle from the heat and from the storms. And indeed, we've been enjoying a free venue for the ministry for the past seven years. That is miracle. That is a proof of God's faithfulness in this mandate. Many years ago, I had an encounter of following the prophets, my father, Pastor Maru Gabriel. I was in my second year in school when God spoke to me of following my father. He said, follow him and serve him with everything you have, every skill, every gift, whatever you've acquired. This is your assignment to follow him. And it never made any sense to anyone around me following a man while in school, no job, I'm not going to do anything, I don't have a paycheck, nothing. A lot of people mocked at us. A lot of people looked at me and said, something is wrong with you, boy. Or you want to follow a man uh, that, has, that has not clearly defined where he's going to. But I thank God today, the story is different. I thank God today, followership in this mandate and following my father, the prophet, has made me who I am today. I've seen God's goodness, God's faithfulness, God's mercies, God's favors, God's kindness in my life. I want to advise everyone out there, every follower out there. My generation has lost touch with the importance of following great men of God or great ministries because of this independent spirit in the atmosphere. Everybody wants to do their own thing. But the truth is this, God has not called everyone to be independent or to be pioneers. By following this mandate, I can tell you, I can tell you boldly as a follower that there is blessing attached to being a follower, knowing your place as a follower. There is great blessings attached to it. And like I rightly said at the beginning, that this ministry is seven years old. Seven years old. By April 24th, this month, we'll be celebrating God's goodness for our he has been faithful to us as a commission for seven years. So we'll be having seven days of gratitude from April 26th through to the 2nd of May 2021, celebrating God's goodness and faithfulness, celebrating the one who has made us what we are today. And the venue for this great event is the Nougat Hall inside the Isoko South Local Government Council, Ole, Delta State, Nigeria. So if you are around this Everon, wherever you are in Delta State in Nigeria, please make it a date with us by April 26th to 2nd of May 2021 as we celebrate God's goodness. God bless you.